how to paint a ceramic frog. For this video, you will need three paint brushes. This big one for the body, and this one for the eyes, and this also for the eyes. Sap green paint, deep green paint, lemon yellow paint, black, and white. And of course, you'll need your ceramic frog. This one has a piggy bank inserted. So let's get started. First off, we need to put our paints on the palette. I'll be using this paintbrush for the body of the frog. So we will be mixing this sap green with some ye lemon yellow to make a white green. And then mix that up and try to get as much paint as you can so that you don't run out in the middle of whatever you're doing. I'm going to be adding more of each color. Maybe a little bit more lemon yellow. Now mix that up. Make sure that there are no streaks as there are right now, or else it will, the color will be uneven. Now we can get started. So, first, just put all this paint on the frog. You might need to mix up more paint if you run out. And I'll be back whenever this is all done. The first coat is now finished and it's okay that the eyes <laughs> don't look that good right now but we're going to cover it with some white later. So now let's do the second coat. So now I've finished with the first part of our frog. So now I will be working on the eyes. And then afterwards, we will need to make the mouth on the inside with a tiny little brush. Sorry, I didn't write down vermilion on the... I'm mean, sorry, I didn't show you vermilion. That's what we need to, to where we can add white in it and then make the mouth. So now let's make the eyes. So we'll need to use this brush right here Let's round an edge and let's draw or paint the inside of his eye. See the white is covering up the green. Try to make this as straight as possible. We'll need to do two coats of this. We'll also be doing touch-ups at the end. So, just paint the inside. 
side of the eyes. There. Now let's let that dry for a little bit. Our frog has been drying for a while now. So now we can be doing the so now we can do the second coat. So just do the same thing as the first time. Except just go over all the white that you just put there. Like this. And then the other eye. So now that is finished. So now let this coat dry now. The eyes have dried now, so let's do the touch ups. So let's take some of that green that we made earlier with the lemon yellow and the sap green, which is this right here in the middle. Except I'm going to make just a little bit more. Put a little bit of sap green and a little bit of yellow. You don't need much for this part because you're just doing a tiny little bit of touch. Carefully go around the eye. Now you might need to do a couple coats for the touch-ups because the white in the back may make it seem lighter than the other green. So now that is finished. And let's get on to doing the pupils. I'm going to be using a small brush for the pupils. So let's take some of the black and then put it right in the middle. You want to make a perfect circle. Like that. Now let's do that for the other eye. There. Like that. Except let's make that one just a little bit bigger. Like that. Now let's do the mouth. So we'll need to use some vermilion, which is right here. And also we'll need some of the white. And also you can use the extra white that you use for the eyes. So let's do
We will also be needing, we will also be using a small brush to put the tiniest bit of vermilion. Then take a really small brush, the smallest one that you have, and then put, take some white, and then put it in vermilion. It should make a light pink color if you put enough. Okay. Oh well, that works right here. A little bit more. Like that. Well, like that, and just a tiny bit more. So, I know on camera it looks like a, a whitish color, but it actually is pretty pink. So, now take it and then put it on. Like this. Really slow. We are also going to do touch-ups on this, too, so it doesn't look all weird. And you do not have to do this step. This step is optional. And like that. Just a tiny bit more. Like that. And now let's let that dry for a little bit. Now let's use that small brush and take the exact same color that you made for the body and then just put it over the spots where you messed up. Well, if you messed up. I have to make a little bit more so of this light green color. So now put it over. That except I still need to do the other side. Like that, and then now it's in the top. Now you want to do this super slowly. You can take your time. There, just a little bit more.
it. And now, whenever you are finished, then I'll show you what to do next. Now I'm going to finish this, and I'll be back. So now I'm finished with cleaning up the frog's mouth. So this is all you need to do to make a frog. And if you want to, you can add some eyelashes on the sides. But I don't think that I'll be doing it. So I hope you liked the video. And please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!